Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makoto Man at YouTube with a, another modeling video. We're going to um, have a small focus on 3D printing this week. Uh, today I'm going to cover maintenance, mostly uh, manual calibration. Now this is not a tutorial in any way. I'm going to be asking you to refer to any official manuals and proper self-help uh, locations online such as forums and uh, discussion groups to your particular 3D printer and each are a bit different but this is more of a uh, confidence boosting activity and what I've learned um, fumbling around with uh, my printer as a uh, beginner I found when I started off I lacked confidence fearing that I would uh, break things but uh, once I'm uh, getting the full knowledge um, it's not that fragile besides taking the nozzle off while cold breaking the, th the thread or anything in the extrusion head now a lot of uh, parts in a 3D printer are also replaceable at a cost as some of them are customizable and um, all open source for personal repair Getting um, straight into it, uh, this is mostly software based, uh, I'm going to be a bit dodgy and flash the camera in front of the screen a few times as I don't have uh, capture software and don't want to really go down that road. In um, the print settings we've got a calibration screen. Uh, a quick breakdown, you've got an up down button, once you've got the bed to a level that you're happy, that's very close to the nozzle, you set that height and the nine buttons below is the different positions that uh, the nozzle will sit over. Then uh, once you've actually sealed the bed height, a height that you're happy that's universal ready for fr friendly for printing, which is the point where the nozzle is absolutely closest to the bed as uh, things can change and uh, the bed may not be 100% uh, level universally. At that point you seal it and you can't really adjust the height anymore and you've got the nine buttons that takes the nozzle into the nine different positions. Now measuring between the bed and the nozzle uh, you want a distance of two microns. Uh, a micron is uh, 0.1 of a millimeter uh, we want two microns and the best measuring tool for this is a piece of paper. A piece of paper is uh, one micron folded in half is uh, two micron. We're happy to have between two and three microns between the uh, bed and the uh, nozzle head so it's not too close and there's no risk of uh, the bed slamming into the nozzle which will seal it and you'll need to clean it referring back to my uh, tutorial. The point where the nozzle's close to the bed is where you want to set the height which uh, is the set uh, limit button. Now a quick uh, reference the numbers of uh, the height of your bed is on the screen and the up and down arrows when you hold it down will just generally go up when you tap it it will go up in um, amounts of roughly one micron. Once all set and done, you've got the 1 to 9 buttons, which will take the nozzles to the different positions. At this stage, using the up and down arrow will no longer control the bed. Once you've uh, got the number and the nozzle at that position on the bed, and it's uh, a little too far away, the little drop down menu will actually raise the bed to a sufficient uh, level that you're happy with your measuring paper gauge then you're able to uh, set it and leave it as a distance that you're happy with. Across all nine points, when you are happy that at each point the paper is uh, two microns to three microns away from the actual printer bed, you're pretty much done uh, calibrating. There is uh, the final button at the uh, bottom of the screen which is apply, save, uh, settings and that will uh, put everything in the setting in the system and this is where it's uh, generally going to print. Now if you're not sure you've done it right or you haven't measured it properly don't fear. If the nozzle's too far away and I'm going to show with uh, the printing examples below printing off this uh, Venia Froster 
It's uh, either going to get too close to the nozzle, it's going to extrude plastic and block, you just have to dismantle it and clean it. If it's too far away, it's just going to make a bit of mess or spaghetti or not print properly. So you get to have a few goes to have We saw in the pictures here what it looks like when we get spaghetti or incorrect or air printing. If it is too close, what will happen is nothing will be produced on the bed when you do further prints and uh, the motor is going to make a clunking sound because the material cannot be forced past the heat exchange as the nozzle is uh, sealed. Now with anything there's obviously going to be a few variables. If you're having multiple problems with your 3D printer, which I am currently going through and you'll uh, find out more in uh, the next two videos uh, knowing that if your calibration is successful or not it's going to be difficult until it's in uh, perfect working order with um, good material to get your calibration as accurate as uh, possible and to do it nice quick and efficiently obviously takes time I've uh, done it about three four times I feel quite confident and can fairly do it in a speedy manner of uh, four or five minutes and obviously I'll get quicker at it as uh, time goes on and uh, that's the same with uh, your confidence in your machine and speed and handling in uh, maintenance is uh, getting confidence in the machine and yourself in handling it and practice thank you very much for watching and as always until next time uh, just make sure the most important part read the manual of your machine and if you are having problems uh, I'm not exactly the best help via comments or private message. Uh, Google is your friend. 3D printing is a massive community, uh, very supportive. You'll uh, find things in uh, various uh, forums, blogs and um, outside tutorials. So uh, have a look at those uh, before asking. Catch you guys later.